We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome to the Freak Show. I am your host, Bumpy McSquiggums, and today we're diving in. We're checking out Act Razor Renaissance. It's by Square Enix and Sonic Powered, releasing on September 23rd, 2021. Big shout out and a thank you to Square Enix for providing a code for this. This is going to be on the PC, and I'm pretty excited to dive in. I remember back in the day, uh, there was an Act Razor game. I, I, I feel like I played it or at least seen it, and I checked out the you know the rebirth, the renaissance of Act Razor, and it looks very interesting. Like they've added a bunch of different stuff. There's different modes to the game, and just different things you can do. It looks like a much more complete and kind of a crazy and strange game. So I'm here. It intrigued me, grabbed my attention, and I'm eager to check it out. So let's get into it, shall we? Please input your name. Player. No, we'll go. We'll go with Bumpy. We'll be Bumpy. It's fine. You are the Lord of Light, Master Bumpy. Proceed. Yeah, no, no, they're absolutely right. I am the Lord of Light. Uh, I, yeah, sure. We'll, we'll confirm. Begin new game at normal difficulty. Sure. Angel, I see you have awoken from your slumber, Master Bumpy. I have. Though your divine splendor has waned. Excuse me. This angel is ever your humble servant. What did you say about my divine splendor? Alas, in your absence, fell monsters have ravaged the land, scattering your people and befouling the earth. This is doubtless the work of Tanzra, the evil one. To redress the balance, you must reclaim your power, Master Bumpy. Through your deeds, you must rekindle the people's faith in you. You must restore them to their stolen land, that by your grace... They might live and prosper. As the people thrive and multiply, they will surely sing your praises and grow more fervent in their devotions. Thus, thus, I threw a T in there. Thus will your influence grow. We'll just own it. It's fine. Thus. Alas, Master Bumpy, the world at present is firmly in the grip of the Dark Lord Tanzra. His minions roam unchecked, sowing chaos and terror among the people preventing them from establishing any settlements of considerable size. This verdant land of Fillmore was once home to a prosperous civilization. Let us begin here. Strike a blow against Tanzra's minions, that the people may establish a permanent foothold in the region. All right, we, I, I guess we're going to descend. Let's do this thing. If you can beat back the monstrous horde, then your people can establish a foothold in this region and begin to rebuild their lives. Shall we begin, Master Bumpy? Sure. Act one, challenge act one of Fillmore. Okay, I guess we're going with one. Do this thing. Oh, this looks cool. Whee! Oh, my face. Oh. Or you do like uh, Deadpool where you land knee first. You're like, oh, superhero landing hurts so bad. One of those situations. All right. All right, I'm here for it. Okay, let's get to it. Uh, inspect. Press attack to deliver a blow with your sword. By pressing attack repeatedly, you can deliver up to three attacks in succession. If you move or hold left or right when delivering the third in a string of attacks, you will execute a charging thrust attack, during which you will briefly be invulnerable. All right. Oh, you don't got got, friend. Sorry, bird. You probably weren't even a bad. Oh, oh, geez. Oh, that was pretty slick. What up? Press jump to launch yourself into the air. Uh huh. And while in the air, you can attack with an aerial strike or down an attack with a downward thrust. Did I just jump, fall off? Oh. Can we not? Can we not backtrack up that way? All right. Oh, who dis? Let's do it, monkey man. This ain't even my whole night. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, bird, bird, angry bird. Oh, bugs and stuff. Ow, we've been slashed in the... Wow, that thing hurt me pretty badly. I feel like there's, like, maybe a nest or something up there. Oh, 
Oh, it, it's just coming out of the tree. Okay, I see. Uh. Uh. Okay. Ooh. How does one get that? All right, what's up? Oh, ah! Ah, bird! Demon bird? Oh, uh, what is this thing? Oh! Alright, Alright, we shall attack our way through. Let's inspect. What else? Taking damage from enemies and other hazards will reduce your HP. If your HP falls to zero, you will die and lose a life and be forced to restart from the last checkpoint. Losing all lives will result in the game over and return you to the Sky Palace. Your base number of lives is determined by the difficulty level. Easy, infinite, normal, five, and hard, three. Oh, we definitely gonna die. Uh, oh, okay, not what I expected. Full disclosure. Definitely not what I... Hmm. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Oh, since we broke it early and we didn't get back to it. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, that, that sucks. Since I broke that statue from a different spot, I can actually no longer claim the bounty that it had for us. I also have no idea where I'm supposed to be going. Oh. Uh, I guess we jump to the left? Oh. Hmm. Do we just walk off to the right? Oh, we do. We do. Okay. Oh, that that's spooky looking. Advanced techniques can be executed by using the directional buttons in conjunction with attack. Press up and attack simultaneously to leap into the air and deliver a rising strike. This technique is effective against enemies flying and on higher ground. While in the air, press down and simultaneously to deliver an overhead slam. Yep, got it. Against enemies below you. Okay, I see. Oh, unexpected. Ah! Your little weird... De oh! Oh! So you feel weird little demon gerbils away from me, but dang it, he got me again. I thought I'd have time to get away from that. Ah! <laughs> yeah. I mean, I got kind of my booty whooped a little bit there, not gonna lie. It, it weren't pretty. Okay, we move from one to the next. Statues of the Lord of Light serve as checkpoints. When entering an area with one of these statues, your progress will be saved. On death, you will be resurrected at the most recently passed statue, should you have sufficient lives. As your progress is automatically saved, should you suspend the game, you'll be able to resume play from this checkpoint as well. Oh, nice. All are healed. Well, most are healed, apparently. I only get 100 HP back. Because I'm a scrub. Nope. What was the point of that? Oh, that's weird. No, Birdman, no. Oh. Can't stop, won't stop. Oh boy. Mistakes were made for sure there. Okay, we got some HP up. Oh, I got some MP. I didn't, do we even have spells or anything? Oh, there's a golden one. I, I guess it didn't matter. Oh. Can't jump any higher? That's unfortunate. Backstep in. Oh, it's it's a little bit slower than I was anticipating. Press down to crouch to avoid certain attacks. Moreover, if you are struck by an enemy attack from the front while crouching, you will automatically adopt a defensive stance, thereby reducing the damage taken. The backstep is a quick way to gain distance from an aggressive enemy. Press 
evade to execute a backstep. You are briefly invulnerable while backstepping. Employed wisely can allow you to avoid taking damage entirely. Some strange systems in place here. Uh. Oh, jeez, that, that was a living thing? Oh, oh okay, okay, calm down. I, I clearly... No, 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 come back. Oh, should have stayed on that thing, whatever it is. Are you gonna come back? Oh, you are, okay, cool. It's a friendly chap. Oh. Okay. I guess he's he's on the on the road again. Huah! Give me that fruit. Interesting, interesting stuff. Okay. Ah, oh, I, I knew as soon as my guy didn't turn the way I wanted him to turn, that that was gonna potentially go bad. All right, so it looks like we have inventory. We got some other random stuff here. Master's profile, okay, okay. Got some miracles, game settings, and return to title. Not mad at it. Is there any reason to break these rocks? I mean, I'm doing it and I'm fine with it, but I assume we're gonna come to a boss fight soon, if not right the second. Yep, right the second. What's up, man? Wizard Knight of the Violet Veil. Centaurus. Oh crap. Uh. How's your booty feel, huh? Centaurus. That is. Uh oh. Oh god, he's gonna do something bad. I don't. I don't know what he's doing, but I don't want to be around it. Man, that, a lot of. Oh. Ooh, ooh. Come on, big guy. Come on, Centaurus. Centaurus a dune. Okay, he can't bump us off of there. I wasn't sure. Just gonna do a little dance. What you gonna do? Yeah. Come on, bigums. Oh, oh. A little bit faster than oh than anticipated. Maybe mock him slightly less. Oh, oh. It's it's a slow process. But it is a process. Ow. You can tell I'm being greedy at, the, at this point. Did, did I hit? Did I get hit there too? I think that might be the best way to go about this. Uh oh. Ow. I definitely feel like I've uh, overextended a little. Oh no. Eh. Come on, big guy. Oh no. Eh. Alright, so we just gotta wait. I, I, I should have been more frugal with my life and my action points and so on and so forth. I definitely wasn't. And that that's on me. Oops. Oh no, we are really hurt now. I need to be uh medium careful. Uh. Oh, 
I was waiting. I'm like, is he gonna do? Is he gonna do the thing? I think we're okay. We keep landing this downward slam on him. We don't make any mistakes for like one, one or two more uh, little deals here. Gotta get him one more. I mean, we definitely pushed the the envelope of the Anva. Boom, baby! What? First try. <laughs> All right. Victory is mine. The stage is clear, and my path is set. So I I don't really know what my path is set for, but we defeated the Wizard Knight, and that's probably good. All right, Fillmore is now chilling on the ground, I guess. Oh, and then it got struck by lightning. Oh, no, people popped down there. Okay, okay. Cool. All right, so now we're going to see some of the other parts of the gameplay, I think. I'm not sure. Rejoice, Master Bumpy, for Fillmore may now serve as a home for your wayward people. Yeah. Yet vigilant, we must also remain, for they are weak and fragile creatures which means they're Italian. No, uh, fragile creatures. Let us continue to safeguard them from Tanzra's minions and ensure that this new settlement grows and thrives. All right, Angel. Oh, Lord, we are grateful beyond measure for all this bountiful land of Fillmore that you have gifted us. We are eager to build and expand, but are unsure how best to proceed. And so we beseech you, O oh Lord, to guide us in our first faltering steps this grand endeavor. Oh, yeah, your people wish to know how you would like them to develop their fledgling settlement. Such is to be expected. They are your children and they want your wisdom. Surely you will answer their prayers. I mean, I, I'll, I'll try. Very good, Master Bumpy. Your children ever want for your guidance. Guiding your people. By specifying the manner in which roads should be built, you can direct development of the settlement. Okay. From the command list, click Offer Guidance to proceed. Move the angel to your intended destination. Up to eight tiles may be designated at a single time. However, bear in mind that roads cannot be built across rocks, trees, and other obstacles. Once the angel is in position, select Confirm to finalize the route and issue guidance to the people. Let's see. Ah, yes. Perhaps we should direct them to expand uh, toward the north and west. There's a, like a big hole in the ground over there. Is that is that a good idea? All right, I'm gonna offer guidance. I sense a fearsome magic emanating from this lair, Master Bumpy. Alas, your chosen lacks sufficient strength and numbers to act against the fiends at this time. So I guess we're gonna just go here. Can I, can I undo? It is done, Master Bumpy. The Filmorans will expand their settlement in accordance with the divine will. It didn't let me back out. Like, I didn't necessarily want this one. It just sort of threw it on me. So I had no real choice. It's okay, I, I suppose. Interesting, though. Oh Lord, we th oh Lord, we thank you for your loving guidance. We shall proceed at once to expand our settlement in the direction that you have indicated. Such pitiable creatures. Mm. Absent your instruction, they would be overwhelmed by indecision and be unable to determine a direction in which to expand. But look, Master Bumpy, having heard your holy word, they now leap into action and begin building new structures. Continue to direct them just so, and they will surely honor you with diligent labor. Okay. Oh, what's going on? What's what, what? Master Bumpy, that rather large hole in the earth cannot have escaped your notice. Yes, tis a monster lair. Sorry. Uh, from these burrows emerge winged fiends that delight in tormenting your children from the skies above. Fortunately, I am more than capable of dispatching them with my bow. You need only direct me to do so. Attacking monsters with angel. Use the arrow keys to move the angel. Press attack to make the angel fire an arrow in the direction he is currently facing. 
Press and hold attack to ready a charge attack. When released, the angel will fire three arrows simultaneously. The angel is incapacitated. The monsters can damage the angel. Be advised that when his HP is reduced to zero, he will be unable to fight for a time. Uh, is it? Okay, let's attack. Hey, hey. Oh god, I'm really bad at this. I did it. Oh lord, this land you have granted us is filled with many trees and shrubs which impede our settlement's expansion. Alas, we lack the means to extend our roads into such terrain. For since ancient times, that which takes root in this land has been warded against the hand of man. <sighs> Thus do they fear their tools will prove useless when brought to bear, or worse, that their actions may invite the land's reprisal. It would seem, Master Bumpy, that your chosen cry out for a miracle. Why not comfort them in their hour of need? Sure. Wielding Miracles Through judicious application of your heavenly powers, you can facilitate the development of your people's community. Press Wield Miracles to proceed. Left click on the uh, left click to select the miracle you wish to use. I am using I am using a PlayStation 5 controller for this, by the way. Though I am playing it on PC, just so you guys know. Once you have moved the Anglais to the desired location, you may press confirm to carry out your miracle. Using next or previous, you may adjust the level of your miracle prior to execution. Higher level miracles will affect a larger area, but in turn will in turn consume a larger quantity of SP. To dispense with the greenery that bars the people's path, might I suggest you call lightning? Ah uh, yes, that's just the thing to smite these sh shrubs into all your chosen faithful. Uh-huh, call lightning, sure. Uh, what, 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 what do you want me to... where? I mean, there's a lot of... Alright, we're just gonna do this one right here. Alright, let's do it. Bzz. Cool. Thank you, O oh Lord, for a full, full many of us bore... Full many, huh? Full many of us bore witness to your divine intervention. T'was magnificent how your lightning smote the trees which hinder our development. We may now claim the land which was once closed to us. Praise be to you, O Lord, from whom all blessings flow. Well done, Master Bumpy. Should other such impediments require removal, I am sure that your miraculous lightning will more than suffice. Ah, and while you could bring such destructive power to bear against your people's homes as well, I have no doubt that you will not, for a boundless is your love and grace. Master Bumpy, it seems to me that your children are doing their very best to develop and expand their settlement. For now, I think it might be prudent to adopt a rather more passive approach to wait and see, so to speak. Uh, sure. I shall smote thee. Stay back, demons. You guys build up that line. This is this is fun. I like this. This is nice. Oh, I missed. There go. Hey, look, look, they're super excited. Oh. Look at them, look at them. They're just all busted out, just rah, just building stuff. Look at them. Crazy people. Oh look man, they're building up stuff like crazy. This is really nice. All right, they're back. Oh, Lord, we are plagued by many monsters still who creep into our settlement and attack our, attack our loved ones. But by your grace, we have made great strides in reclaiming this land. Our families flourish and our dominion grows larger. You have done so much for us, and so, after much discussion, we have decided that rather than cower in our homes, we wish to go forth and confront the fiends ourselves. No valiant Lord of Light, let, uh, let us be your sword to vanquish the dark. You need but guide us to the Devil's Lair. Well, this is quite the surprise. I thought them rather more helpless, but they seem intent on dealing with the fiends themselves. 
I have my doubts that this will that this display of heroism will end will end well, but uh, who can say? Uh, perhaps you should indulge them, guide them to the monster lair, and see what comes of it. Sure, I will offer my guidance. Yes, yes, I, I am aware. It seems to me, Master Puppy, that the, the monsters in the lair to the northwest are lacking in strength. Might I suggest that you guide your people to this den of evil, that they can assist in its destruction? You might be able to do just that. All right. Hold on. Ow. You know, missing is not great. Alright, see what they got. And then I, I suppose we'll probably... Oh, oh, they're, they're there. We'll probably end up breaking off the, uh, the episode here relatively soon. Oh lord, within the monster's lair we found terrible relics, orbs which pulse with foul malevolent energies. All who have beheld them believe that they have some connection to the fiends. I know of what he speaks, Master Bumpy. They are spawners, devices which facilitate the appearance of Tanzra's minions. Without them, monsters would not issue forth from this lair. Well, what are you waiting for? They must be destroyed forthwith. Oh? Master Bumpy, the time has come for you to strike at the heart of the enemy's lair. From the heavens now descend into the hell pit in the northwest, I implore you. Master Bumpy, I trust you are ready for battle. Press X to enter into the monster's lair, if so. Once you have obliterated the spawner within, fiends will no longer emerge from the lair, and it will be sealed forevermore. To battle. Alright, we're going to dive into battle, but we're going to break off the episode. Assuming I don't just instantaneously get murdered here. Yeah, looks like they are very uh, eager to attack me. Alright, so if nothing else is going to attack guys and gals. Well, hold on. It looks like I have a timer, so it's only a 70 second timer. Uh oh. This does not seem overly challenging at this point. We found a, an okay spot to. Oh, we got hit finally. And we have defeated it! For well, we are gloriously great. We are the Lord of Light, after all. All right, so there we go. And again, I'm sure it was a gimme one, right? It's going to be a lot more complicated and challenging as we go. The people rejoice, O Lord, for the lair to the northwest has been forever sealed by your divine intervention. This miraculous display fills us with renewed hope and reminds us that you ever watch over your children. We pray that you will continue to guide us, O Lord. Marvelous Master Bumpy, that is one less lair to befoul the land. And I, who must purge the errant fiends, whensoever they appear, may labor somewhat less tiredly than before. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is pretty much going to do it for this first episode. Like I said, it intrigued me. I, I thought it was going to be a lot of fun to play around and check it out. And turns out, yeah, it's a pretty interesting and strange and unique and just different game and i am very very curious to see how it all comes together how it all plays all right folks if you want more information about the game where to get the game information on the developer publisher any of that stuff will all be down below in the description of the video and various links just like it always is and we're going to read this and then i'm going to do my full outro and then we're going to break it off oh lord the other day we chanced to find a stranger lying unconscious near the ruin of the monster layer you sealed we nursed him back to health and when he awoke he named himself Philotas. He then proceeded to share with us a tale most strange. He claims he ruled these lands centuries ago, until, by magic dark, he was cursed to sleep for eternity. So this is where you pray to your value, or your vaunted Lord of Light. This is an impressive temple indeed. Yet wasteful for prayers will avail you not. I look not to the gods, for only men can save themselves in the end. Who does he think he is? To speak such blasphemy in the presence of Master Bumpy? He seems upset. I shall manifest and reprimand him at once. Mortal, you would do well to mind your tongue in this holy place. I say, where did this child come from? I am no child, you impudent fool. 
I am an angel in the right hand of my... I'm sure that's not how the angel sounds. The right hand of Master Bumpy, the Lord of Light, who am I, or who I am sure is looking very cross at you right now. An angel? Really? Then the gods truly exist? Well, I'll be. <clears throat> Forgive me, O oh Lord, for my earlier uh, commentary. I am a stranger to the Filmorans, yet they came to my aid without hesitation. Such kindness must be repaid. You would agree? As you can doubtless see, I am a man of action. If you fiends in need of a thrashing, I'll be more than happy to oblige. <laughs> Though lacking in manners, he does not want for confidence. If he is willing to fight our foes, then you may as well take him up on his offer. Sure. If I may, Master Bumpy, why not leave the people to their own devices as they labor to improve the settlement? Sure. Anyway, guys and gals, that's it for now. I can't wait to play around a bit more, see what's going on, and, uh, well, get a little bit deeper in. All right, folks, a big shout-out and a thank you once again to Square Enix for hooking me up with the code for this. It means a lot, and I greatly appreciate it. That being said, folks, like, subscribe, share. You know the score for first episode videos. Do the YouTube algorithm stuff. And until the very next episode, I've been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show. We play, we fight. We conquer.